I'd like to give a nice little shout out. I don't normally do a lot of shout outs. There's a lot of you know. But I want to do a shout out here. Because this guy really, really, really made me. Really made me happy with the, what type of video, what the videos he's doing. And uh, yeah, he's a proper. It's called uh, Paxis. Paxis. P-A-X, I believe it's I-S, well, it'll, uh, the link will be down in the description, but anyway, Paxis Prepper, he's from actually the New, New England states, and he's doing, a, he's going one step further than I've ever, a few steps, several steps actually further than the rest of the preppers I've seen, and I like to watch the preppers, I mean, I, I, that's one of, my, one of my weaknesses, um, but Paxis is actually making a series, a video series, of a uh, storyline that uh, the uh, oh, the uh, oh, it's an alien invasion. And it's been, it's been going on. He's like no, uh, like day seven and a half, seven or something like that. He puts out like two a month, I believe, maybe a more. I don't think it's two months. Average is about two months videos and on that and it is cool it really sh he's really showing how you can use the proper thought on even on like an alien attack or whatever you know I mean I'm really enjoying it it's like watching <laughs> I don't know Walking Dead or uh, V back in the day V was some V was more TV thing but I mean he gives you an idea but he, he has a background in in ph photography and he uh, He's doing a fantastic job. Like I said, the script, the the, the uh, link will be down in the description for you guys. I just popped a freaking dead skunk. Ugh, I didn't see it in time. That stinks. Don't stink. Oh well. But anyway, we are we are cruising down the road, and I'd like to put it out there. You know, I uh, heartfelt Paul, uh, uh, oh, prayers and wishes going out to the survivors that happened down in Florida. I'm not going to say exactly what happened or who did it or whatever because I'm not giving them that glory. But if you if you follow the news, you know what happened. And I'm going to say that. Uh, that, uh, it, for the family and friends and survivors, I uh, I feel for you guys. Um, but that's all I'm going to put it out there. I'm going to go gas station over there at the Speedway. I'm going to be going to go on there get gas. Get gas. So, uh, I'm almost there. So, let's go ahead and just close it out here. Just Hello, everybody. I'm just sitting at the gas station. Just, fin just finished it up. We just cut out the parts that are there, are on, and uh, call it that. Yeah, I just did a camera check, we didn't know what that was, making sure it was running, because I don't remember shutting it off, I really don't. <laughs> I'm bad, I'm bad, I know, I'm bad, I'm bad. Okay. Now to get to where I need to go. There we go. I'm bad, I'm bad. If I go up there, I'm not gonna be seen by the light. So let's go this way. He's turning over here. Shared at night. I actually, took down that freaking building. It used to be. Th oh, was it te not Telly's? Yeah, that was Telly's. Yeah. 
and they took down the corner building. They're thinking of talking about putting a roundabout in there, and I was like, that's the worst thing you could do, guys. People don't around here don't know how to drive roundabouts. People around here do not know how to drive roundabouts. Boy, those headlights are nice. I mean, it's shining like way down the road. I can see that from the signs. It is great. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, you know? Yeah, yeah. Seen that, uh, we were talking, I was talking to Dante last night. Finally got the, his KLR out in the road. Drug it out of his uh, basement hidey hole that he parks in the wintertime. So I take it for a ride yesterday. It was a gorgeous day to go for a ride, I'll tell you, but today's gonna be better. Today's gonna be better. I got this morning to do. Got uh, tonight. I'll be going up and taking a. Uh, oh, it's called a. Uh, what was it? A, oh, a sleep hydration test or something like that. Something like that. Well, they they're testing for me for my my uh, from my sleep for my sleep apnea, which I have. I have. I just the insurance once it's done. Just play the insurance game. Insurance wants it done before they'll cover for a BiPAP. So he's never tried a CPAP. Well, that's because I was tested out of it. That's why. It was big time. But that was so many years ago. I need to fix these roads. That was so many years ago. It was unreal. So they, they're making me do it all over again. Because that was back in 2001. Something like that. I had it done, 2002. Of course, I had another follow-up one done. I think it was 2004 or 2005. And it showed no difference. Man, is this? These roads are awful. This is like off-roading, dudes. I'm not going through it all. I'm just avoiding it. This is Mike Cooper, and you all have a great day. Signing out.